Oh, it started. Okay, so this is um vlog number ten, and it is going to be about um for fibromyalgia people, how it's hard for us to have to repeat ourselves and explain ourselves over and over again uh, as to our um as our about our limitations that we have, what we can't do, and having to try and explain over and over again. It's almost, um, almost sometimes it feels like you get to the point where you feel like you have to defend yourself, almost. So, um, it's, it's hard on your morale. It's, um, it's just hard. I should have put this down as a, a downer alert. Or like a downer trigger you know how some blogs have that okay anyways so tired of explaining myself and um, I always tell people from the get-go that I can't do much then as time goes by people say oh she's so antisocial or do you have sad sad you should get out more. You should do more things. It's not good for you being so inactive. Um, and I'm just all, oh my god. <laughs> People, just listen to me. It's not a lifestyle choice. Because I have fibromyalgia, I cannot do much. And I don't know how many times I've already said that, you know, like. I just can't do much, and I feel like I have said that phrase so many times. I mean, not just different people at different times. I mean, to the same people, it seems like they just don't want to um, get it or something. I don't know. Anyways, maybe I'm just overly sensitive, but no, it's it's hard to have to repeat over and over again and explain and stuff. Okay. I'm rambling as usual okay so I do have copies this is what I've done to try and um, keep me from getting stressed out about this because I've got the rest of my life where I have to explain myself to people so this is one little tip that I've done and that maybe you can do also and that is um, I've got copies and printouts of fibromyalgia literature. Um, I hand this out to people if they ask about it. I don't give it to them, but I just hand it to them. They can read it, kind of like skim over it or whatever. But um, so far, people don't really read it all. They just kind of end up looking at it real quickly and then end up asking me the same questions again. Um, and the reason I give it to them is just so it, they can just, like, not have to ask me so many questions. So I don't have to repeat myself. But um, some people will actually take it and actually look at it. And then it makes the conversation from that point on a lot easier where I'm not, you know, answering the same questions again, blah, blah, blah. All right. So, like, the answers to these basic questions are for the most part in this literature so yeah so it's a frustrating um if they skim it and still ask me the same questions but anyways it's it's um an idea to uh, hand them this literature so you know anyways okay for example it's hard for me to travel I get anxiety, motion sickness, dizziness, sensitive to pressure changes, nausea, pain from sitting, etc., etc. So, um, I have this in the literature, you know, it says for symptoms, master symptoms list for fibromyalgia about being hard to travel and blah, blah, blah. So anyways, um, I tell them this, it's hard for me to travel and why. And then they ask, well, why don't you come out to my place? It's only an hour away. And uh, you need to get out more. 
and I'll be like, didn't you just hear me? It's hard for me to travel. Yes, an hour, even an hour is hard for me to travel. Like I'm not going to feel comfortable during the travel. Getting there, I'll be sick. And I won't be looking forward to the travel home. Blah, 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 blah. It's hard to travel, so no thanks. And they say, it's like they're just not listening even if you repeat it to them. That you can't do the travel. Then they say, oh, why, you just don't want to? I mean, WTF. I'd love to swear there, but I'm not going to. Or else, um, I'll tell people I can't deal with large crowds and the bright, bright lights, noisy environments. And then they say, do you want to go to the movies or do you want to go to the school concert? <laughs> and I'm just like, no. And they say, oh, she just doesn't care to go she just wants to sleep like oh my god like seriously like I'm hearing this kind of reaction over and over and over again and I'm having to repeat myself over and over and over again that I have these limitations and I can't do much and here's the reasons why and I still keep getting these questions like well go and do this go and do that and blah 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 it's just so frustrating <gasps> Like, um, I don't know. It's very frustrating. Like, I can, I don't even know how I'm able to smile about it right now at this moment, but it's just so hard. Anyways, um, I've said, like, this is what I say, still trying to be positive and still trying to be understanding that they're not getting it or, you know, just trying to be kind about it because I do appreciate getting invited to things and, and whatnot, but... I've said that I want to do stuff. It's just, if it's too far away or too noisy, I just can't. I'd like to hang out with you, but it's only, it can only be sometimes that I can say yes. It just always depends. And please just understand. I mean, I can't make plans in advance either, because I never know how bad I'll, I'm going to be that day or that hour. So um, just please understand. And, like, please, for the love of God, understand, I can't do much. It's not by choice. It's just my world with fibro. So, that's my life, and it's hard. Oh, so I'm going to show you the literature that I've had printed out that I keep with me, one in my bag, um, and, like, always keep handy. So, I'm just going to show you, like, my example for what you can do if you would like to avoid repeating yourself. Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Crap. Okay, so this is one of them. Like, one of the, the packets. How many pages is in there? Not very much. Just a few pages. Okay, so this is the first cover of it. I know this looks backwards on here, but, yeah, and, like, if you want to read that, of course, there's not time, you can just pause it and read it, because I'm just trying to keep this short, and then here's another, the second page of it, So you can just pause that. I'll check this video after it's done to make sure that it's clear enough. You can pause it to read it. And then I have like photocopies of my like doctor's notes and um like, <laughs> of, like doctor's notes. And, um, here's another, there's one more doctor's note that I didn't show you guys. Let's just see if I can show you this <laughs> without showing my name. Uh, I never really quite planned this out, but I wasn't expecting to show you this. Anyway. Oh, it's got my name everywhere. What the heck? Okay. 
How about just like this? <laughs> okay, so it's Mm, I don't know if that's working out too good. I don't know if it's even worth doing it. I might not be able to see it very good there. Anyways. So it's got those doctor's notes in it. <laughs> just to, I don't know. Hold on, let me just see. Oh yeah, and then here's some more. This is like, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, I don't know, eight pages long or something. And so I have like the master symptoms for um, like all the symptoms and stuff. Just to show. The one was the photo, right? You can almost pause this too if you want to see like all the kinds of symptoms that fibro people have. Or if you have fibromyalgia. You can just kind of like um, pause this and read it over and and you can see the ones that you have. So these are like master symptom lists of fibromyalgia. And I, this is what I'm showing people when they ask about it or if they start asking me why I can't do stuff, then I'll just bring this out. I'm not embarrassed to show it to them. It just explains it and then they can understand um, the um, debilitating, debilitating um, life you have limitations and just like, you know, I think it saves a lot of time and energy and stuff. And if they're truly curious, then they'll take them the few moments it takes to look at it. So, yeah. Oops, uh, mm, I hope it's doing this good. It's kind of. I'm sorry, this is just not so nice. I know some people, when they do their vlogs, they have stuff printed out right on the screen. I don't know how the heck they do that, but. Man, I just don't have the. Uh, the know how how to do, like, really nice stuff. I mean. Um, there's only, like. There's a lot. <laughs> I'm just going to try and like buzz through this really, really super, like in less than a minute, I'll try and show you kind of like, like all these symptoms that come along with fibro. I'm just trying to hold it steady enough where you can pause it to read it. And hopefully that'll work out good. Okay. <clears throat> Whoa, there's a lot of symptoms, hey? So, wow. Yeah. But I mean, maybe I won't go through all these. This is taking too long. Taking long. I'm gonna... Oh my goodness. Okay. This is just like... You can get your own literature. You probably already have some. You can get um, images printed off, like Google Images, for fibromyalgia quotes. And there's lots and lots of um, sites and places that has the master symptoms list. That's what I always Google for, is like the complete list of symptoms. Because a lot of sites will just tell you like two things. That fibromyalgia is chronic fatigue and chronic pain well it's more than just that so anyways I'm gonna just say um that's it because this is like almost 15 minutes and um so anyways that's my frustrations and um there's a way to sometimes make it easier so that was my idea just get literature printed out and that's it for this vlog thanks for listening and um be nice to each other, take care of each other, love each other, keep warm, be comfortable. Okay, I'll, I'll see you again.